Hello and welcome to another quick tech tip with the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be going over how to have multiple phones paired with the AA Wireless. Keep in mind that only one phone can be connected to the AA Wireless at a time, even when multiple phones are paired with it. When two or more phones are paired with the AA Wireless, it will attempt to first connect to the last phone that it was connected with. If the connection attempt times out, it will then cycle through to the next phone attempting to connect. This means if two phones that are paired with the AA Wireless are in range, when it powers on, then the last connected phone will be chosen. I will cover this in more detail later in the video. For this video, we are going to assume you already have the first phone paired with the AA Wireless. If you need help on how to get that set up, you can follow along for how to pair the second phone as the steps are exactly the same. To get started, you'll need to pair the second phone with the AA Wireless. You want to make sure that the first phone that is paired with it is not nearby, so that way the second phone can be paired. I recommend turning Bluetooth and Wi-Fi off on the first phone to really make sure it won't be able to connect. You'll need to have the AA Wireless Companion app installed on the second phone for this step as well. Opening the Companion app for the first time will give you instructions on how to verify and enable if needed wireless Android Auto on your phone. Afterwards, you'll be brought to the onboarding steps. At this point, you can turn on your car if it isn't already and click on Next. If your AA Wireless is not plugged in, you'll want to do that now. The second phone will now attempt to connect to the AA Wireless. This will take several moments, and if it fails, you'll be able to retry. Once found, you'll get a pop-up asking if you want to link to the AA Wireless. Click on OK to continue. You'll then get a prompt to pair your phone with the AA Wireless. Afterwards, the AA Wireless will reboot, which can take close to a minute to occur. Once done and your phone is connected to the AA Wireless, you'll get an on-screen prompt telling you to complete the setup on Android Auto on your car's screen. With the way things are currently, anytime the AA Wireless is powered on, it will attempt to connect to the second phone, which will be referred to as Phone B for the rest of this video. This means that even if both Phone B and the original phone, that I will refer to as Phone A from now on, are in the car on power-up, the AA Wireless will always connect to Phone B. As of the making of this video, there is no way within the companion app to switch between paired phones. The developers indicated that they would be looking into a way to add the functionality at a later time, but for now, the following must be done to switch between paired devices. To switch between phones, you'll have two options. The easiest way would be to only have phone A near the AA Wireless when it is being powered on. After the AA Wireless is not able to connect to phone B, it will then attempt to connect to phone A. Because phone A is the only one around, it's able to connect. After this, phone A will be the default phone connection for the AA Wireless until the process is repeated but with phone B. The second option is if you can't keep phone B away, and that is to turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity on phone B before powering on the AA Wireless. Make sure that the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings don't automatically turn on after a few seconds of being turned off as well. Otherwise, Phone B will be able to still connect to AA Wireless. With Phone B invisible to the AA Wireless, it will fail to connect and attempt to connect to Phone A. Once Phone A is connected to the AA Wireless, then you can turn on Bluetooth and Wireless on Phone B without any issues. After this, Phone A will be the default phone connection for the AA Wireless until the process is repeated both Phone B. When you want to switch back to Phone B, then either process can be used, at which point Phone B will always be connected to until only Phone A is visible to the AA Wireless on Power Up. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it lets YouTube know to show it to other people. And if you aren't already, consider subscribing to the channel and enabling notifications to be one of the first known when I release other tech and smart home related videos just like this one. Thank you for watching.